Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. Silver has moved quite quickly in the last few days and has now pulled back to the golden ratio level there. I still have the white wave count on the chart, I just haven't deleted it, but um, as I said to you in yesterday's update, the probabilities for a move down has in, have increased because already yesterday we saw that the wave four had moved down a little bit too low to be reliable. So we kind of considered this to be a wave two pullback which needed i think one more low and we've now seen that one more low today and the market also hit the golden ratio level there the 61.8 retracement at 20 27 dollars 79 and yeah exactly that level and it's showing a reaction so the move down is technically complete i'm not entirely convinced yet could still get another low i mean 27 dollars 18 is next support and it is all within the scope of a water wave two could normally do. So that means I cannot rule out at this stage another low, but if we see a nice rally that takes the price above the last swing high at $28.68 and then $29, that would be a good indication that a low has actually formed. And if we then zoom in a little bit, you can actually see you can actually see that this wave con is indeed full a b and then the c wave and this is five waves down in wave c now if we really go to the micro level it will now be important to determine whether this is impulsive in any way it's difficult to say i mean <laughs> this could be technically a five wave move up but this is the five minute chart it's kind of ridiculous so one two and then maybe as a diagonal this could even be three four and we might be working on a fifth but only as a diagonal so um actually this here also could be nah it's probably rather a diagonal um in terms of fib levels that's important right do the fib levels align and don't think this is in any way reliable. I just give you my best idea of the micro level. Um, we have reached a third. That's done what it needs to do. Fifth wave, even the 1.618 extension. I mean, it would look better with maybe a push to $28 there, the first five wave move, but you could already call that a five wave pattern to the upside, an ugly one. And it's sort of really the, the nano level. But if in any pullback now it's holding a higher low, then breaks above this high and it hasn't formed yet at top, right? But let's say we get a, a pullback maybe overnight and then a rally and a break above this high. This would be a good indication a low is in, but it's all too small to be reliable. So I will take that off the chart. This is in no way a prediction. I just want to mention to you, look, you know, the, the downside wave count is technically full. Let's see if we can now get a rally from here. It's certainly probabilities for a larger rally increase. Um, but yeah, it, it is, it is a pretty messy structure here and I'm not convinced yet that the low is in, but it looks okay. It's, it's like, you know, wave one up and the wave two to the downside, $27.18 is next support. If this one, if this low isn't holding the intraday low, but, um, you know, you can now, you know, you could now watch for higher prices. So it's just for the individual trader to decide okay, am I happy with the idea that we could go up or do I want to wait for further confirmation? When can we get confirmation? Confirmation, what I would call a more reliable confirmation is the first five wave move up, but not just a tiny bit, right? We need first five waves that ideally break above the last high, then a three wave corrective pullback. Then we have another so-called one, two setup, and then we can move higher towards 30 to $40 in the coming months. That's just a quick update about silver. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out these stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.